All right, folks, I'm going to do a quick uh, category import for some data using Unergy's U-Rapid Flow Pro extension for Magento. You can see in front of us right here, I have my CSV open, I have my category IDs column, and then I have some meta titles that I will be updating. Uh, so that's the spreadsheet. Let's go in and copy the file, category meta titles. All right, and you can see right here that I've got a few profiles already set up. And I suggest that when you first get started using Unergy Rapid Flow Pro, uh, you do the same thing. Uh, I have basic uh, import export set up for each sort of data type that you Rapid Flow Pro deals with. So product data, category data, and fixed row data. In this case, like we said before, I'm going to be updating category information. So I'm going to go to the import category data profile. And right in here, we can see the title of the profile. That's fine. The profile status, it's enabled, obviously. The store view, we just leave it admin. Um, file location, we leave that empty because I use the default, which if you're going from the Magento route, it's just under var, uh, U Rapid Flow Pro, and then import. In the case of importing a spreadsheet, and then or csv and then export in the case of doing an export so let's first replace this with our updated file name and before i keep going here the one last thing i'm going to recommend is that you do a backup before you do any mass data update like this uh, it's just very very important you cannot afford to lose your database or at least i can't afford to lose or rather corrupt my database so uh, logging options will leave the minimum log level at successful updates that's fine uh, category options I don't really need to worry about profile status that's gonna read us the output as we're running the import and then allow us to export the report file options I don't need to worry about any of this remote server information format options this is all just standard UTF-8 I'm fine with the delimiter import options. Now this is where we're going to make our first change. I always do dry runs when I do imports using U Rapid Flow Pro, something I certainly suggest that you do as well. Uh, that way if there's a problem, rather than having to import, re-index the databases, refresh your cache, uh, get the update the spreadsheet with the correct values, run the import again, re-index again, refresh cache again um, you can just run this uh, dry run and it'll validate the data only just like it says import columns I don't need to worry about any of this because all of the categories uh, that are on my spreadsheet are existing categories meaning they're not new um, there's gonna be a lot more information that is gonna be required if you are adding new categories in this case I'm just manipulating data that already exists uh, adding those SEO meta titles. Upload files. My files already uploaded in the correct location. Reindex. Uh, I am going to just have everything be reindexed. As you can see here, this is empty. If you only wanted certain indices uh, reindexed, you could just add those particular uh, database indexes. But in my case, I this is really broad, as you can see, import category data, so it applies to a lot of different situations. So I just stick with having all of the indexes uh, be re-indexed. Uh, the configuration is just gonna show you if I wanted to copy this and create a clone, essentially, of this import category data profile, uh, that's useful. but. It's, it's obviously I wouldn't use it on the same Magento instance because I already have the profile. Where this comes into play, where it's useful, is if you have, say, a staging or a development environment where you have created a profile in Rapid Flow Pro and you are satisfied with that profile and you want to copy it over to your production environment. It's a lot easier to just copy and paste this JSON profile configuration into your production environment when you're creating a new profile. So with that covered, uh, dry run set to yes, my file is there. Let's uh, go ahead and give this a run. 
Uh-oh, missing URL path column. So I am going to need that URL path when I'm updating these categories. Let's go back to the spreadsheet. All right, so as you can see, I've taken out that category.ids column and added the URL path instead. I'm, I'm used to working with products. I don't deal with categories as much as I deal with manipulating product data. And when you are adding categories to a product, the category IDs column is what you want. Uh, hopefully the URL, URL path column will be sufficient uh, for what we're trying to do in updating these meta titles. So let's give this a whirl back in Magento and see what happens. Uh, I'm going to, I have the same file name, import options. I'm going to leave it dry run and we're going to give this a whirl again. All right. So right off the bat, I could see that we had a few errors. So let's ex export this uh, log file. Pop that open and see where we're going wrong. There we go. One, two, three, four. We have some empty meta titles there, which is fine. It's just going to skip over those because there's nothing to update. All right, so let's investigate what's going on here. Missing a required value for is active. Let's go ahead and investigate that in our Magento admin. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what the problem is right here. This rather cryptic message, which doesn't make a lot of sense, is active. I know that they're in the admin and I know that they are active. So I went to look at the URL key. The URL key looked fine for pipe and fitting until I got to adapter and let's uh, show you what the problem was. See this URL path pipe fitting adapter OR. And I have ER. So it's a simple spelling error. And that's why I always recommend doing the dry run is now the next thing I'm going to do is fix this, re-upload the CSV, and hopefully the third time's charm. All right, so I've made that change on my spreadsheet, and I'm going to go ahead and try this again. All right, so we can see we had four rows with errors. I know those four rows were because of that spelling error. I have uploaded the file yet again. So let's save it and run and see what we have. We're still on the dry run, meaning we're just validating the spreadsheet data. All right. And it looks like we are good to go. If I go and view this profile status, I can see that we had 645 successful updates. As we saw before, I had three blank rows in the spreadsheet. So that accounts for the difference here. With that said, I'm going to go ahead and turn dry run off. So we're going to go and import these meta titles. All right. So if we go to our index management, we can see that the re-indexing job has taken off and it's going to go through and re-index all these database indexes. I'll refresh the cache and we'll take a look at those meta titles in the admin in just a minute or two. All right, it's been a couple minutes. Our 
indices have been refreshed. I have uh, re-indexed rather. I have refreshed cash and let's take a look at the title tags and see if they are updated. There we go. Pipe fittings adapters. There we go. All right, so as you can see, it looks like we are all set here. Our category information has been updated, and that completes our run through with updating category data with Unergy's U Rapid Flow Pro extension for Magento.